We're back inside a Marley Quadraflow tower, and what I want to focus on here is a question that sometimes I get asked. I'll get a phone call saying my Marley tower is dirty and we need to come look at maybe changing out the fill. What I want to point out is what looks like and appears to be a dirty fill, but in reality, that's just scale forming on the inside of these drift eliminators. That's not actually causing any issue with the performance of your tower. It's actually a good sign. It's actually saying that the tower is doing what it's supposed to do. We're trying to evaporate water, create that phase change to get that water cooled down as quickly and efficiently as possible. So what you're seeing here, even though it looks a little dirty, it's actually not bad. It's a good thing to see that. Now, what we want to do to prevent that from scaling up too much is obviously we want to keep up with our water treatment. We want to make sure that we are cleaning the tower twice a year and that'll help control this scale. In moderation, it's perfectly fine, but we want to make sure that we control it. Hey guys, we're outside the Marley Tower now and I want to point out the outside of the tower as opposed to the inside. On the outside, we've got our louvers and this is the most visible component when people are looking at towers and claim that it is dirty. Again, I want to point out that scale showing up on this is going to happen. Everything that's inside that water that evaporates stays behind. So this is not a bad thing. We just want to make sure we maintain it like I was mentioning on the inside. So when is the actual tower fill clogged? When do we want to really take a look at this and understand what's going on? The life of this fill media is about 10 to 15 years. So in that range, we can kind of expect somewhere along that time where we really want to look at it and make sure that it's one, staying up as far as the structure of itself and two, that it's not clogged. So when we look inside these towers, you can see the scale on this tower. And again, as we mentioned before, it's not bad. It just needs to be maintained. What we really want to look at when we're looking at the fill to make sure it's not clogged and causing any inefficiencies is when you look inside the fill, you're going to see the chevron shapes there. And as long as that is clean and open for that water to travel down, there's no problem with that fill. If you do see slime or sludge or scale building up on the inside of that, that's when you start losing your efficiencies and that's when we want to start looking at replacing the fill.